We're not doing that today. What's up, YouTube? What is good, YouTube? What the fuck? Can't use that word here. Can't use that word. What's up, YouTube? Dan from Deberg Skate here, and today I'm teaching you all how to rail stand on a skateboard. Rail stand? What is a rail stand? A rail stand is all in the name. It is when you are standing on the rails of your skateboard. First and foremost, you can stand on either side of the rail, whether it is with your heels on the wheels or your toes on the wheels. You may know this trick as the Primo. A lot of core skaters refer to this trick as a Primo, but a lot of freestylers name this trick the Rail Stand. Largely because the Rail Stand is the stall version of the Primo slide, and the Primo is the slide version of the Rail Stand. But we could call them both, and there are a couple different methods for getting into this, so what I'm gonna do now is take you into the garage and show you how it works. <laughs> So as I mentioned, there are a few different ways to do this trick, and we're going to start off with the easiest way. It's going to look a little something like this. So let's get started with foot setup. For foot setup, you're going to want to have your front foot kind of centered on the board with your heels hanging off. Back foot's going to be pretty much the opposite. You're going to want to have that foot on the bolts with the toe hanging off. So all together, your feet are gonna look like this. You're gonna wanna apply some pressure on that back foot with the toe to shift the board up and into that primo position. And with that back foot, you're literally just gonna step up and catch that board. And you have your toes hanging off for a reason because that is largely what allows you to step up and catch the board in rail. So all together, it's gonna look a little something like this. Oh! All together, it's going to look a little something like this. Oh, yeah. And notice how I'm using two different boards. The one on the left is a freestyle board, and the one on the right is a regular skateboard. The, the freestyle skateboard is going to make rail stands a lot easier, and that's because these boards are literally made for getting into that position, and it has side set wheels, so it lines up perfectly. So you can catch Primo super easy and stay in Primo. And when it comes to hopping out of Primo on either side, you just want to give the board a little slight nudge and jump to land on it. Now previously we got into Primo by applying some pressure here and stepping up with the toes on the wheels. With this method, we're going to do it the opposite way, having our heels on the wheels. And this one is also going to be by applying some pressure. It's going to be a little different with this one. You're going to want to have both feet on the bolts for the setup, toes hanging off, and all you got to do with this one is apply your pressure forward with both toes and jump up into the primo position. So all you're going to do here is apply your pressure with your toes forward, nudge that board into the primo position while jumping up right into it. And it's going to look like this. But the reason I say it's the most difficult one is because in the first method I showed you, you can literally see the board come up, you can watch it the entire time, like that. But with the second variation, you're going in blind, you can't see what the board is doing, and you're largely relying on your good faith. But once you start to figure it out, once you get more comfortable, it comes a lot easier, and much like how I said before with landing the trick, you just give the board a little tap, a little nudge. This time we're going to nudge the board a little backwards with the toes behind me so we can land it like this. And now for the last method. This is a traditional freestyle method that I honestly don't use a lot. I'm not a big fan of this, but a lot of freestyle skaters, they say this is the easiest method. This is the one you'll get most consistently. And for this variation, you don't apply pressure like the other ones. Instead, you set up your feet like this with your tail on the ground. You take that front foot, give that back truck a little nudge, and you step up onto it like that. The key to learn this one is to just break it down super slow and speed up the motion as you get more comfortable. So first step, set your feet up like this, tail down on the ground. Take that front foot, 
hook it around to touch that back wheel, and give the board a little nudge like this to put it in the primo position, and then just step right up into it. Once you have that basic method down of hopping in and out of rail stand, there are a bunch of different things you can do with this trick. There are several different variations of flipping out of rail stand. You can flip into Primo, which I probably won't cover today because that's a little bit down the line. freestyle deck if you are looking to get into that. And then there's also primo slides. You can do this trick moving once you got it down really well. And I would say the highest level of difficulty is getting those flip tricks into primo. So keep practicing, get comfortable getting in and out of primo, and you can just take it from there. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video today. I hope you found this helpful. Hope you can get out there now and go practice some rail stands. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like. Drop a comment if you have any questions. If you haven't already, make sure you are subscribed to the channel.